What's up guys? So in this video, we'll walk you through how to create a site on Super from scratch, how to connect your Notion page to that site, and then how to set up your custom domain uh, through DNS. So let's get started. So first, you'll want to sign up to Super. Um, the first page you'll land on is the sites page. You want to go and create a new site. Then you'll be prompted with a modal on your site method. Now we'll actually be retiring this uh, legacy default method just because the advantages of static uh, way outperforms um, the default method. And what this means is basically we're just uh, deriving a static site from your Notion page content. So it's generated all by us. We'll remove any third-party Notion scripts that will slow down your page speeds. And I've outlined a post here actually on Indie Hackers about um, you know, the performance advantages, security advantages, and discoverability or SEO advantages of using static over default methods. So I'll link that in the description as well. Um, so let's go ahead and choose static. Here's where we'll enter a site name. We're gonna create a virtual coffee shop for Super. And we bought a test domain for this, so supercoffee.shop. And then here's where you'll want to paste in your Notion page URL. So you'll go into Notion. Um, this is a little test page that I created. You'll click share in the top right. You'll turn on share to web. And then you'll copy the link here. Now it's important that this is enabled because without it, you'll just get an error message. And this is where you'll paste in that link. Continue. Pretty URLs is where we can add um, URLs for sub pages. So let's say I have um, an about page on my site. I can map Notion's uh, default page slug, paste that in over here. And then on the right here, I can make that URL a little bit more pretty, uh, shorter and more memorable. But for now, we'll leave this blank. So in this step, we'll choose the domain registrar that you use for your domain that you set up in the previous step. Um, in this case, we use GoDaddy. You can use any that you'd like. And if it's not listed here, just select other. So there are two DNS records that we need to add for a root domain. If you're using a subdomain, then there's actually only one that you need. Uh, but in this case, we're using a root domain. So we're gonna go into GoDaddy. In our products page in our settings, hit this ellipsis icon and click manage DNS. Now, one problem that I actually see often is that people add a secondary A record pointing from at, which is your root domain, uh, and you can't have multiple A records pointing from your root domain. It's just, that'll uh, cause an error. And so instead of adding a new A record, we'll just edit this park domain here that we have and just replace the parked with the value or IP address here. So we'll click this to copy and replace that. You can leave the TTL or time to live to default or set it to an hour, hit save. And we're gonna do the same thing for the CNAME record here. So CNAME record type, the name of www, and that points to cname.super.so. And we're just gonna edit that as well. Replace that with this. And this is so that www works on your domain as well. So now we're going to go back to super, click continue since we've added those records. And this page is where we can add some options to our site. So we can choose a custom font if we wanted to. So for this case, I'm going to choose space grotesque. You can upload a site image, which um, will be displayed when your site is shared on social media or on Slack or on uh, third party services and platforms. You can upload a custom favicon, so to upload the browser tab icon. And snippet injection is where you can place uh, scripts or style tags. You can even place HTML elements, though that's fairly experimental. For now, we'll leave this blank. And the site description is uh, what will show up on search engines and will also show up on um, social media platforms when, sh when your site is shared. Site search is where you can enable or disable search on your site and page properties as well. So we'll leave that hidden and site search disabled. And then that's it. So for now, we'll see this 
site show up on our super dashboard. And now it's checking that we've got the DNS set up properly. This should only take a couple of seconds, maybe a couple of minutes in some cases. Um, so we'll just cut through until that's done. So as you guys can see now, status has changed to live. So if I click this, you can see that the Notion page content now lives on our own custom domain. So if I were to go into Notion and change this text color to yellow, let's say, and hit save, within you know five to 30 seconds is when you should see it uh, show up on your actual domain. Now, a few things to note here, the title in the tab bar is taken from the page title and Notion. And this is also pretty important for SEO. So that's what shows up on search engines as well. And the tab icon here that shows up on our site, if none is set in your super options right over here, then the default will be taken from the page title in Notion. So that's where you can upload a favicon if, um, if you're using a page icon. So now we'll see if refresh a couple of times here and you can see that the changes have come through within a few seconds. So that's about it guys. Um, fairly straightforward. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments or on Twitter or in our community. And uh, that's it. Have an awesome day.